Municipal Stadium, Larry Kelly Field, Billy Gahagan, Rocky Oakham, Steve Allen. We're getting ready to start the second half. Seabreeze High School leading Nice by a score of 20 to 7. Coach Yoakum, first half thoughts. Uh, Seabreeze took advantage of its opportunities, put 20 points on the board. Uh, the kicker, Haywood, missed his first extra point of the year. Uh, his grandfather, Tony Melacrino, is on suicide watch at this point. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they have had it. They've had a, a, a good football game. Nice has sh uh, shown some signs of doing some things, but uh, no consistency as of yet. Coach Allen, I think Nice would like to go back and not give up that one easy score. If that's the case, we've got basically a 13 to seven game. It's a little bit uh, more manageable, but I, I still like the matchup. I think it's a good matchup. Nice just needs something good to happen for him early here, and uh, maybe put together a drive in his first five minutes and uh, get, get themselves back into it. Hayworth's kick goes down to the five-yard line. It's returned by Jeff D. Cesar. Cesar. It'll be first and 10 for the Panthers from their 25-yard line. That sure was nice talking to Mr. Wallace, wasn't it, Coach? Mr. Wallace is a fine man. I've known him for over 30 years, and uh, he's a class act in every respect. Coach Allen only wishes he could have been under that guy. Well, he was a good fella. He is a good fella. The human wrecking machine, Kenrick Harris on the carry. He's going to pick up seven, six actually. It'll be second down and four for the Panthers. Another Seabreeze defender slow to get up. Cole Dunnigan shaking up on the play. Did you say it's cold, Billy? That's what I was going for. <laughs> that is so wrong. Harris oh, right. showing a little bit of athletic ability jumping over the pile. And keep those feet on the ground. That's, there's no place in the air for running back. Crosses the 35. Picked up that first down. Keeping that. That's important to get this drive going to get that first first down. Gives the Gashy. ball again to Harris. He's going to take the ball up to the 40 and wouldn't, up to the 45. Wouldn't there, do anything else, Coach. That, there's an old axiom in coaching, and it's called repeat successful plays. And I think we may see that play repeated over and over tonight, which is that dive up the middle with a 225-pound running back. Just see if Seabreeze Se wants to tackle him all evening. Mix it in with a little pass and see how it goes. Second and short for the Panthers. Seabreeze had trouble with this early in the first quarter. Josh they're, Barker they're, switches sides. Alley under pressure. He avoids a little bit of and it. Almost oh. gets it to his receiver and takes a pretty good blow. John Scotty applying the pressure to quarterback Alley. That's not a name I've heard a lot, John Scotty, this year. Has he been a pretty consistent player for he, he actually has been one of their uh, short yardage guys on offense. Right, he has right. played some defensively. He's been on varsity the entire year. Third and one for Nice. Kenrick is going to get the ball, maybe. That's Harris on the carry. He's going to get the ball all right. And he's into the secondary and continues to run down to the 34-yard line, first down, Nice. Not that complicated, Coach. No. Give it to the biggest guy in the yard and let him go. Yeah. They don't seem to have changed from the first half, but the success has been a little bit better. Halftime adjustment? Halftime adjustment, maybe a little blocking change up right there. Uh, Coach Beach, I think, is bringing the linebacker away from the back and stunning him right into the hole, but he got blocked in big game. First and 10. Stop and go as a receiver. That's Stokes on the on the coverage, and Caesar was the intended receiver. It's good technique by the defensive back holding him on that arm like that. He, he was. The receiver's got to get free of that. Yep. He, he's got to quit. Can't dilly dally with that guy. He's got to get free of all the the, the hand fighting there. He, he came up short of the ball. He, he had a chance there. I think he could just run through the ball. 
My money's going with uh, number three on this play, Kendrick Harris. See what I know. Not well, a little. Yeah, coach. Why not? Harris bruising his way down to the 26-yard line of the Sand Crabs. It'll be third down and short. Harris again on the carry. Not as many yards as he's gotten in his previous four or five carries. It's going to bring a fourth down situation for so, Nice. He finally got a little bit of a little bit of Ed set that time and got him got a body on him before he got it going. That's been a, a problem they've had all night. They're going to go here. Yeah, I think they'll run inside the tackle this time, possibly. Try to draw him first and then see. You don't think maybe this is a good spot for play action? If it works, right. <laughs> but if it doesn't, good spot we're for three. all in trouble. It's a good spot for good number spot five, buddy. Three to carry the ball. Yeah, there's no, there, there's no bad spot for this guy. He, he's the most powerful running back on the football field. Yep. Here comes the unbalanced set uh -huh. or something. They're uh -huh. going or the and balance quick set, as we yeah. figured out. This looks like football the way it was played in the '40s. Yes, sir. What are they going to do out of it, Coach? Just run a straight zone play and put man on man? Yep, just let him pick a hole. Trying to go outside. Oh, oh. oh well, that, was, that, was, that was lightning there. In yes, the, it most time. certainly was. Jordan Willis on the carry loses his footing. It's happened to him a couple times tonight. And the regular offense comes back on the field. Minus Kenrick Harris. Harris stays on the sideline. Nineteen on Ballas at the top. I'd like to see him run the ball, be patient, but I, I've got a feeling. There goes so much for the run. Willis out of the backfield. Nineteen on Ballas. You, you can almost you just had you just get that feeling sometimes. You get in that three by one. I always like to single up. My my better one is the yep. single guy. Yep. It's hard to play the the comeback and the and the fade, especially down in this area. Everybody's guarding against the fade so much. Caesar on the reception for the Panthers. And it'll be third down and short. Harris back in the game. Oh, He's going to take the ball that's a right down. away yeah. from Alley. So yes, on the first drive of that's the second half, yep. Nice finds the end zone. I was going to say we got ourselves a football game, but we had one even before this half started. Yep, and this is really going to make it interesting here as time goes by. Now Savory's going to see if they can answer. And once again, how, how they respond will be a good lesson for them for next week as well. Just how do you handle these close back and forth games? Patel's kick is up, and it's good. So with 7.32 remaining in the third quarter, your score is Seabreeze 20, Nice 14. We'll be right back. Stadium and Larry Kelly Field, Billy Hagen, Rocky Yoakum, and Steve Allen. Pinridge, excuse me, I did it again. Nice, 
the Panthers. I gotta stop. That's a touchback. I think nice. it's the weather having that effect on you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can't mark that. I did not. Okay. I did not. Twenty to fourteen is your score. Seabreeze leads Nice. The Panthers took the opening drive of the second half, marched right down the field and scored. This is Seabreeze's first possession of the second half. And I'm, I'm just dancing, by the way, because the band, because the band is playing. I, 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 if we were, if you were hooked up to a lie detector, oh, that would not be your answer. No, absolutely not. Because I know you're always truthful. Yes, sir. Gospel. Jeremiah Wilson and the Sand Crabs first and ten from their 20-yard line. That's Brody Loin on the carry, and uh, he's going to dodge one. He's, he's going to make a two. tackle. He's going to break three tackles. A hard-running young man. And brought down, knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Officials indicating keep the clock running. It might be cold down there. They might want to get this thing I don't know why. in the books. It's I don't know why. gorgeous yeah, out here tonight. Beautiful night. Best, night. best night we've had all year. Yep. Everyone's prepared. Everybody. Second and five, Wilson to Loin. That's a fumble, folks. Yeah. You don't have time as a freshman to get on, freshman to get on that. Yep. second mistake and almost made his second and third yep. in the, and, on the same play. And final. And final. And final <laughs> Good call. Three Good. strikes and you're out of here. <laughs> yeah, you always got to go pick that one up just to just make sure. Just to make sure. That's exactly right. That's what oh, play there. Puts him behind the chains on this first drive. Play to the whistle, right? And then <laughs> yes, you do. Should. Common freshman mistake, blaming his hands. It's <laughs> Once he got over that, he realized, oh, that's a fumble. Wilson comes near side. That's Rashad Floyd on the reception. And quickly, people will forget about Brody Loin's mistake as it's now a first down and 10 for Seabreeze. Well executed. <laughs> Officials time out for water with 6.13 to go in the third quarter. 20 to 14, Seabreeze leading Nice. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Municipal Stadium, Larry Kelly Field. Seabreeze leading Pine Ridge by a score. <laughs> I'm done. I got to quit. Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 20 to 14. That's good for Coach Beach. Go back to that same play. Let the young man make up for his mistake. I see why you're going back to him. This kid's a player. He's going to score a touchdown. Nice pass. Oh, how Beautiful. about Brody? Beautiful. Act like you've done it before. What a great kid. What a great play. Absolutely. Flag on the play. Just no, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that's worth that's that's the gold comment. Give him a mark. Oh, by the way, that was a touchdown. <laughs> Beautiful run. Absolutely. Exciting play. A little breathing room for the Sand Crabs. They did answer. That's, that's good. They are going to have to do that again here in another week, I'm sure. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be a high-scoring affair from the looks of things. Well, the one team has the opportunity to serve. I agree. Going for two. Floyd in motion. Wilson's going to roll to his right. Has absolutely nobody to throw to. Throw it and anyway. He's going to get thrown out of bounds. My quarterback hook shot it, whatever. Yeah, give a chance. You, throw it you can't score holding it. That's a failed two-point conversion by the Sand Crabs. So with 5.55 remaining in the third quarter, Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 26-14. to 14. You guys are pretty impressed with Loin so far? 
very, very much impressed. And I'm impressed with Coach Beach for, for coaching the kid up and then running the same play, letting him catch it, having the great success. He's, you, know, you said everybody would forget about that play. Now he can forget about it. No doubt. He can move on. Well, he, he just made a common mistake, Coach Allen. As a young kid, he just was frustrated at himself but just failed to realize that the play was still going. Right. No, yeah. no time for that on the field. And then he came back and made a great – his anticipation was super right there in, in feeling that guy on the outside shoulder kind of just getting it back inside. And, hey, that's a, that's a pretty heady play for a ninth grader. And now he's got many friends on the sideline. Father Lopez leads Taylor by a score of 34 to 3. Thank you. According to sources, in the first half, Marquise Williams of Father Lopez High School has 275 yards rushing and five touchdowns. You don't need to congratulate me. Oh, we won't. Don't worry about Thank it. Thank you. Oh, oh, he still got it. Hayworth's kickoff is fielded by Cole Albritton. Coach Chickam, what do you think our temperature is tonight? I would say that the temperature is probably 65 degrees. And even though some of our local friends are cold, I think our friends from Virginia and Oklahoma would scoff at the idea that it's cold. Out. I, I, they wouldn't I, be in shorts and a t-shirt either. I have one here visiting me right now that is uh, quite enjoying the weather as they have 39 degrees and spitting snow in the mountains. Oh, there's a touchdown. Oh, he did that's because he handed it off. I thought he had a route guy wide open, and he was because there was a running play. Seabreeze doing a little bit better job in the five technique area, yeah. fighting that yeah. block and then not giving. She hung out with Miss Debbie. Well, at least somebody has. <laughs> she was great. <laughs> Second down to ten for the Panthers. <laughs> Uh, wait till I tell you this shocker of, a, of an update. Shocking developments. Shocking, shocking. Alley under pressure. Steps up, has a receiver. Oh, we've got Pass is caught. Hold There's a flag short. on the play. That's Josh Parker on the reception. I'm, I'm also hearing from sources that New Smyrna Beach is leading Treasure Coast by a score of 14 to nothing. And Mainland's lead over Fort Pierce Central has been cut to 21 to 14. No short of, a, of athletes at, at Fort Pierce Central. Nope. And again, that's I don't believe they're a playoff team. I'm not positive about that, but this could be all they've got to play for. Umatilla is leading Deltona by a score of 17 to 7. Flagler Palm Coast leads Spruce Creek by a score of 28 to 7. No surprise there. And Trinity over Orangewood six or excuse me, tied six six. Matanzas leads Atlantic fourteen to eight. At the half. Oh, catch the ball and you've got a play. Yep. You have a play. I like the timing of the whole play, the way it was executed, the quarterback's footwork. Uh, All of it. And they just got to catch. Except for the catch. It's kind of like when you're playing basketball. If you don't make the basket, it just seems like you're playing poorly. That's right. If you don't make the catch. Third down and very long for Nice High School. Leighton Alley is going to give the ball off to Jordan Willis. Good defensive stand there by Seabreeze on that series. Yep, and they needed one there. But the Nice offense running the football as much as they have. You know, this thing is, uh, this time is dwindling pretty quickly. You know, we're coming, you know, in the latter part of the third quarter here. And Brody Loin back deep to receive just on the other side of the 50-yard line. 
They might want to keep it away from him. I have a feeling old Brody, Brody's feeling pretty good right now. The punt is away. Loin calls for a fair catch. He's going to bobble it. And he'll fall on his own mistake at the 45-yard line. 3.53 to go in the third quarter. They're going to put him in the game. It is senior night here for the Sand Crabs. <clears throat> Honoring, I believe Seabreeze does it, where they honor the football players, the cheerleaders, and fall sports maybe, or the band, band for sure. I know a couple times at, on campus they have a senior night of the fall sports, the spring sports, minus your, minus your big ones. Post route here by the single receiver with the flares a touchdown. He just Underneath screen, played well by Nice. Played very well by Nice. The D linemen are finally starting to figure out that when they leave you, that something's wrong, and they're kind of retracing and getting their eyes outside and helping bunch. That was that was good play. Loss of five on the play will bring up second down and 15 for the Sand Crabs. Wilson, throws a strike far side. That's Anthony Blake on the catch. And he has enough for a first down. That's about a 32-yard intermediate trajectory ball thrown very well. Picking up that first down, which is key here. A series touchdown by Seabreeze right now would uh, really put the pressure on Nice or Pine Ridge, whoever they might be. <laughs> what is Seabreeze's uh, biggest offensive output? <laughs> This year. How about Loin on the carry for another touchdown? He's got really good vision. Yes, he does. Really good. Knows how to use his blockers. Knows how to try to use me. Got your typical ninth grader out there. I think he's a little faster than we might might know that he is I think as so. well. I think he's got good speed. I don't know that he's 5'10", 165. He, he, might, he may be one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day he will be. But not today. They just figure they'll keep that on there for the next couple of years and just they, they don't have to change Let him it. grow in. That's it, yeah. right. That's Rashad Floyd on the speed sweep. Uncontested. Another Seabreeze touchdown. Wow. Made it look easy. I was going to say they're making it look easy now, Coach. Seabreeze offense is getting uncranked, and that's just that's not the group you want to let get get off on you because uh, – no, and it kind of takes away from the ability for Nice to rely on their run game to, to methodically get back in the game. They're going to have to explode here in the next 17 minutes. Hayworth in to attempt the point after. Snap, hold, kick. And the point after is good. 2.41 to go in the third quarter. You're too kind to me. It's 15 minutes, not 17. We only play 12 minutes. Uh, My yeah. bad, as they say. I, sir. I, sir, respect your position, it and I will let well you. you I let you roll with whatever you want to say. And I appreciate it. That's why I'm here, Coach Gagan. Your yeah. kindness is only exceeded by your graciousness. <laughs> Ain't nobody talking to you, Coach Allen. <laughs> Thirty-three to fourteen, Seabury <laughs> leading. Nice. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Coach Yoakum, we were we were being chastised for for, for leaving him hanging to, to carry the broadcast for himself. You try to help, you reach out, you extend a, you extend the olive branch, and they, they use it like Adrian Peterson on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, nice. That's a good one there. That's Thank a good one right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But nobody's talking to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. It's all and, love you don't, booth. and you don't have that many options <laughs> to make it all better. <laughs> it's all it's all love in the booth today. <laughs> Talking it over, who they're going to kick it to here. There we go. We'll oh. Kick it deep. Going to land on the D of the Daytona if the if it was warmer weather. No doubt, this is definitely a uh, a four. Coach, if that hits on the D, field it at the four. This, this is trouble for Seabreeze here. Ooh. Flags come him. flying from all directions. We've either got a block in the back or a low block on about the 12-yard line, 15 maybe. 
Oh, split how sweet. Difference. Holding. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't need that. They did not. Penalty occurred on the 15-yard line. So we're going to march them back. Seven and a half yard on behalf of the distance. Put the ball on the seven and a half, as they've already done. Well, after the opening drive of the second half, they haven't looked all that great, the Nice Panthers. Like Coach Oakham said, they're going to have to throw the football at some point. They, they don't have to panic it right now, but he doesn't appear to have the speed to run away from the Sand Crabs. No. Chase Hamilton, one of the Sand Crabs, in on the stop. And that was Kenrick Harris on the carry. Pickup of two on the play. Brings up second and eight. Coach Oakham, a little disappointed in the crowd. I'm not surprised. Not Coach surprised. Oakham, no, I'm really not. I'm just, me too. I'm, all, I'm always disappointed at the poor turnouts. But, uh, Strike. Strike. Strike and stroke, one after the other. Yes, sir. <laughs> On the reception for the Panthers, number 25, Radar Hubbard. Radar? Radar. Good name. At least that's what I'm calling him. We can call him Reader. No, Radar. Uh, I like Radar. Radar. Radar's good. Oh. That's impossible for you to call that already. I, I, I agree. Golly. Illegal motion is the call. He said the back left early. He's been leaving the step early a lot tonight. It looked to me like he just, the running back takes a little step just before the ball snapped, and uh, that's the first time they've called it. And you've noticed that before? And I you, have. you didn't say anything to us? No, because I'm dead set against any more penalties being oh. called tonight. <laughs> Oh, we're going to replay the down. So that's joyous. 74 looks like a hoss, doesn't he? Just thinking the same thing. 6'5", <clears throat> 290. <laughs> Phenomenal. And to do that from so far away. Well, I was out on the field earlier, and I went by and asked several of them, how much do you weigh? <laughs> and I could measure from the height. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's it Will is. Roth. Nice play by Roth. Even nicer because it keeps <laughs> keeps the clock going. Second down in let's see, three, four, six, 16, 17 yards. Coach Kramer's doing a nice job tonight of keeping some fresh D linemen in there and, and, and using his rotation. He's doing it from the warmth of the press box tonight, too, I, I think. I, I haven't seen him out there. Could be temperature related. Could be. We got a blitz and a man-free coverage and nobody on the back. Oh. He got it to him. I'll tell you what. You can't dance with it. Nope. What a what a throw, honestly. Because oh, yeah. he didn't know that pressure was there until he faced oh, back up. Oh, what are we going to have here? We've got something late on the sand crabs, it looks like. Flag came out as the play ended. That's going to be the old giving him the business penalty. Rotavia Sanders on the tackle for Seabreeze. And are they going to call on Sportsman Mike? Let's look at the replay and see if we can figure out what that, that is. They're going to call that personal, personal foul. foul. Yeah, as you look at the replay there, he kind of comes down with his forearm. Should we pause it? Let me know now. when you want me to pause it. Let, it right there. Let, let it run. Yeah, there it is. Personal foul. Wow. 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 Well, he's a lot closer to the action, so maybe there was something there that we just couldn't see. Lucky for us that we have the A1 officials um, who are, you know, quite good at seeing these things. Flagler Palm Coast now leads 35 to 14. Over, Over Spruce, Spruce Creek. Creek. Yes. Nice Number 11, R.J. Stokes. 
Maybe. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mr. Cotter on the reception. Welcome back. Yes, sir. His wife died. I heard that. That's disappointing. Happens to all of us. And on that sad <laughs> note, <laughs> the third quarter will come to an end. Seabreeze leading East by a score of 33-14. to 14. We'll be back. At least we plan on it. <laughs> Welcome back to Municipal Stadium, Larry Kelly Field, the League of Hagen. Oh, the prognosticator, Rocky Yoakum and Steve Allen. 33-14, your score, Seabreeze leading Nice here at senior night for the Sandcrafts. We're going to decline this penalty, it looks like, bring up fourth down. It's 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in the big city. Allie has a receiver. That's Mr. Connor on the reception. Plenty of yards for the first down. Cross the 50 to the 48 of the Sand Crabs first attendees. Three-man front for the Sand Crabs. And Kenrick Harris on the carry. He will exit the game. And in comes Jordan Willis. Second down and four. Willis. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> on the carry, Chase Hamilton on the stop for the Sand Crabs. Oh, would you guys decide you weren't going to talk this whole drive while I was inside? Nice. I'll take it myself. I'll turn both your mics off. Third and two for the Panthers. Well, someone's talking to me. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. <laughs> that's Willis again on the carry. And that's enough for a first down. Where was this drive a series or two ago? I know. I'm, I'm glad to see them just work on what, what's, yeah. you know, dance with what brung you, that sort of thing. But uh, they, that, they're good for them. 
little play fake throw off of it once in a while, but most of the time just run it. I asked Coach Krause how he would categorize the season, <clears throat> and the, the word he, he used would be was encouraged. He, he felt encouraged by the young kids he's got and, and kind of what they've gotten started. And I, I look for him to, to build this thing. I look for him to do a good job there. Nowhere to run for Mr. Willis. Leave it alone. <laughs> it looks occupied. <clears throat> now this is a view. Stand by the wall though. Third and three, they're obviously in four down territory at this point in the football game, so a couple runs wouldn't be surprising. Nope. Got him on the post. Got it, nice catch. I was wondering if he was gonna thread the needle to 20 down here. I don't know if you guys He's, that's a pretty small needle. 20 is not very big. <laughs> Move the chains. They must be playing some pretty good competition because they, they don't look all that bad and to be and to have only four wins. Who they played? I think we covered that in the pregame. I don't remember though. Well, other than the, I mean, they lost to Ponte Vedra by a point. They lost for they they beat they beat they they lost to, they got smoked by Creekside, smoked by St. Augustine. Yeah. That kind of got twisted, funny there, going down. I hope he's okay. Will Roth again on the stop. Third and four for Nice. Eight minutes to go in the game. I'm wondering if the, the injury <clears throat> to, to Harris, if this got anything to do with him being out of the ball game here. And wow. Tell you what. Wow. That's some hard running now. Yeah, there's no quit in the Panthers. Got to like that. Down to the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Nice High School. There we go. Alley gives the ball to Harris. He's going to make his way down to about the one-yard line. Second and goal. Ricky Altman checks in for Seabreeze. And Coach Beach calls timeout. 7.15 to go in the contest. Coach Beach not liking what he sees. Second and goal for the Panthers when, uh, when we come back. Stadium, Larry Kelly Field, Billy Kahang and Rocky Oakham. That didn't hurt. And Steve Allen. 7.15 to go in the contest. Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 33 to 14. The Panthers on the verge of some sort of points here. Harris. Yep. Not, yep, not with the ball. Three. Quarterback Kevin. Alley. Touchdown for First the Panthers. First time he's kept the ball, I think, all night on yes, his zone. <clears> yes, sir. Good spot for it. Yep. Got a 13-point ball game at this point. Extra point, we cut it to 12. Oh, 
Patel's point after is up and it's good. 33 to 21, your score. Seabreeze leads Nice on senior night. 7.09 remaining in the contest. We're not going anywhere. Stay here. <laughs> Now, next week, Coach Gahagan, will we be doing the uh, Mainland playoff game at this point? Yes, we sir. Play? This is the last regular season contest of the season. We will be covering next week's Mainland South Lake game. Awesome. And we want, to, we want to remind our viewers that that will be a 7.30 kickoff, as all the state playoff games are designated to be. Have at it. Look at you. Just a wealth of knowledge tonight. I just didn't want you to think I was late or not coming when you got here at 6 <laughs> when I got and here, I wasn't here. When I'm here at 5.45 going, where's everybody at? Southlake, the District 10 runner-up, has their hands full, guys. Oh. Um, Maitland's. Oh. <laughs> They're going to get a rude awakening in Volusia County. Seabreeze, on the other hand, will travel to next week to District 10 champion Edgewater. They too will have their hands full. I'm anxious if we can get an update on that uh, Fort Pierce yeah, Mainland game and see how, how that's going. I would have to think this is an onside kick. Down two scores, seven minutes to go. Got to have the ball back quickly. There it, it is. is. It's the old shepherd kick. You had a chance. Somebody should have blocked that Yeah, you've got to get a man on that. Get a man on the man. Whistles are still blowing down there. Now the file's cleared up. Number 17, I believe, came up with the recovery. No, 17's on defense. Never mind. Matanzas leads Atlantic by a score of 14 to 8 in the third quarter. And that's all we have right now. It's all the update I have. I would like to see Seabury swing the back this way and throw a post route to the wide receiver, even though they're ahead two scores. Summers. You know, Coach Allen, on those wide screens like that, there's so many blocking options. It's, it, I'm sure it would be interesting to know what Coach Beach's blocking rules are for those guys out there on the perimeter. Yeah, he's got a number of screens, and, and people change the, the look on you up, you know, out there. And, and you you got to have something. We've got somebody. Get up. Thank yeah, you. There we go. Loined once again on the carry for the Sand Crabs. He picks up a first down. It'll be first and ten. Seabreeze from the Nice 38-yard line. They're doing a pretty good job of it, whatever it is, because they're getting some unmolested yardage. The, yep. the, the receiver's getting to catch the ball. And, and, and when know. the ball comes out of the quarterback's hand, I, my eyes flash over there, and I just see all different kinds of people keeping defenders from getting upfield mm -hmm. in the throwing lane, and they, they do a lot of good things. Yeah, I look for them to run the go off of that before it's over. A little counterplay here. And that's going to get swallowed up. Fake the speed sweep to Floyd. Hand the ball off to Lloyd. That was that was Lloyd, Lloyd. That's it. The Floyd and Lloyd show. Loss of three on the play brings up second down. And we're going to call it 13. Jamel Fleming checking into the game. And Brody Lloyd's going to check out. A little ankle here. It looks like a little, little gimpy. Welcome to varsity football. That's right. Wilson keeps the ball himself, takes it down to the 35-yard line. I want him to get up, bounce back to the huddle. There we go. I think he'll he'll continue to gain some more confidence with that. The more he carries the ball, right? He's looked a little. Meek running right, up in there, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. We talked to his mother the other night after his first game, and she said that uh, he really enjoyed getting that first lick and being back out there on mm -hmm. the field and feeling what it's like to play again. And, and, and his first one really was. I mean, he got smashed. 
they've really gotten that blocked very well tonight. That's Rashad Floyd on the carry. Down to the 16-yard line. Officials timeout for water as they take one. So will we. 33-21, to 21, your score. Seabreeze leading Nice. Welcome back to Senior Night here at Municipal Stadium on Larry Kelly Field. Billy Gahagan, Rocky Yoakum, and Steve Allen. Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 33-21. to 4.50 remaining in the contest. Seabreeze deep into Nice territory. That's Mr. Summers on the carry. Yeah, instead of being tackled, he's just going to be pushed forward. He's going to be knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. A touchdown here will just about do her, Coach Oakham. I think it's already done, and uh, I think another touchdown would be the icing on the cake, and it'd be about 25% of the total points scored this year by the Sand Crabs in this one ball game if they get another seven. Ironically, you mentioned the word ice. That's what's growing. That's there it Scott is. Summers, and that's a touchdown. As we have a Nice Panther shaking up on the play. Hey, release the balloons. There goes a white balloon. A single white balloon. A balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a balloon. <laughs> it's World Cup. 419 remaining in the game. 39 to 21. And balloons. They're all going up. Red. Black, white. That's illegal these days, isn't it? Or is that supposed to be done? Anyway, think about it. We'll be back. 39 to 21. Seabreeze leading Nice. Hayworth's point after is up and it's good. 419 remaining in the contest. Your score now. Seabreeze 39. Nice 21. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 40 to 21. Billy Gahagan, Rocky Oakham, and Steve Allen. And Hayworth's kick fielded at the 15. Got to play and there's here. absolutely nobody in the middle. Nice tackle made by number 48. Reggie Mays on the stop. Good hard run there. Yep. Thought they had him stopped. He just kind of bounced to his right and kept on going. Coach Oko, I know you're an Oklahoma State fan. I am. As opposed to Oklahoma like your cousin. I am. How about tomorrow's matchup, or Saturday's matchup tomorrow, number 12 Baylor at Oklahoma. Even though you're not an Oklahoma State or Oklahoma fan, but that's got to be a good, good game in Boomer Sooner country. There was a time I would have rather lost to the Russians than to lose to OU. <laughs> and uh, I've mellowed in my old age. So being it's a home state school, I hope they don't lose by more than 20 or 30. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> First and 10, Alley's pass on the far side is caught. Oh, the Oklahoma schools have been a disappointment this year, really. I, both schools, I thought, would perform better than they have. Oklahoma State especially. They're young, but they, uh, you know, they... they but every year they just seem to be right yeah, there. They're yeah. almost there, and then something happens. Yes. Oh, there's a touchdown. Oh, he's wide open. That's a nice throw. <laughs> yes, it was. Leighton Alley. He's a good player. He's got a, a bright future ahead of him for certain. I think the, the Nice program's got a bright future. I, I like what Coach has done with these guys. They continue to battle in a game that they're, you know, seem all but out of, and we, we don't like to say anything is over. Would you say an onside kick is coming? I would. <laughs> oh, omnipotent one? I would. They've tried two or three different kinds. Kick is up and good, so with 3.18 to go in the contest, Seabreeze leads Nice by a score of 40 to 28. Just a quick note in a college game tonight involving two of our area alum. Memphis and Temple are tied 10 to 10. Temple boasts John Christopher from Seabreeze High School, while Memphis has Paxton Lynch from Deltona Trinity. I don't know if you guys know much about it. Coach Allen would know more than Coach Oakham about this young man. He was a kid that was not, and I repeat not, offered by anybody out of high school. And that was when he was coming out with Seabreeze had Trenton Norvell. And there was a time when I was quoted as saying, this kid's pretty good, and everybody passed on him. And then the late offer by Memphis. And Paxton is doing a great job. He's been starting since, since his true freshman year, Coach. Showed up in the Central Florida All-Star game, and I think that was kind of his coming out party. It got him some exposure. He played very well. He's a big kid, big arm, um, just kind of classic classic quarterback kid, you know. He's done a great job. I'm glad to see all the, all the area kids out there doing well. And we have quite a few. Speaking of, of All-Star games, I, I heard tonight also that they're going to renew the Florida-Georgia Rivalry. Yeah, I've heard that Coach Rollinson has got some kind of involvement with that deal over They're there. Played in Deland, uh -huh. I've heard. Of course, that's all tentative at this point. Right. I think it's a good idea. Oh, I do too. Classic There's one here. Found up on the number two, and they all loose, and they got it. They had a chance to if they didn't. I believe they did. We got 3:13 left. Hey, new life. As exciting as this is right now, I just want to let you know that Paxton Lynch is 11 of 15 for 132 yards and a touchdown. He threw for 350, if I'm not mistaken, against Eucla. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I'm going to have to say who? Eucla. UCLA. I see. 
Not to be confused with the University of Concord located at Athens. That's that right. Would be Concord College. JC has one catch for 11 yards for the home team, Temple Owls. First and 10 is now going to become first and five. <clears throat> it's not going to make Coach Sonia happy. Not at this point in the game for sure. While we have a quick second, we might as well thank some people that make this broadcast possible, this webcast, if you will. Charlie Williams, our internet engineer, and Arden Gregory upstairs manning the camera. And as always, thanks to Dan Descoli, the CEO of Double D Productions. Ooh. Alley's pass in and out of the hands of R.J. Stokes. Near interception. It's going to give new life to Nice. Second down in five. Alley's pass. Oh! Did he get it back? It looks like somebody. Yes, they're gonna they're gonna stop the clock, but I believe they're gonna give a. Would that be a? It's gonna be a first down, no matter what, if they did recover the ball. First down. Move the chains. Start the clock. That Caesar on the reception for Nice. Fumbled it away, and somebody from Nice recovered it. Panthers are fighting this thing to the end, coach. Yes, they are. Got him. Oh, he put it on the wrong side of him. He needs to put that about three feet left inside, give him a chance. How about big number 62 getting out there making that open field tackle? Well, that was... Turned that thing around in a hurry, didn't it? Nice ball. Just could have been in a couple feet the other side uh -huh. of the receiver. And uh, we'd be jumping up and down with some excitement. And now the Sand Crabs are doing the victory dance. And uh, things are looking good for them. Bertavia Sanders on the interception. Four Seabreeze. 233 remaining. 40 to 28 your score, Seabreeze. Over Nice. First and ten for the Sand Crabs. Let's give the Sand Crabs a little boost going into the playoffs. You know, feel a little better about themselves, especially yep. offensively where they've, they've struggled all year. And got their quarterback back and he's playing and they, they're, they're seeming to be doing more of the things that they like to do. And Throw the swing in the post. Clock continues to roll. Seabreeze should do nothing but keep it on the ground here. 40 to 28 is their lead. Coach not taking any chances with having a freshman in the ball game in this situation. No. Summers on the carry. That keeps, scrum keeps moving forward. It looks like it could be a first down, depending on the spot. If it's a left foot spot here, it'll be a short. If yes, it's sir. right foot, it is first down. The last thing we need to do is stop and measure it. Well, That's the all I'm going to Officials They're on the other side third of the down. field. Good, good. Let's just keep going. We don't need to measure this. Officials on the other side of the field called, we said, do not need indicated to timeout. Do not need to measure. Seabreeze called timeout, according to the official. I think he meant to say that Nice called it, but what do I know? <laughs> really hate to jinx this whole situation, but if the score stands... <laughs> Seabreeze will improve, improve to four and six on the year. Nice will fall to four and six on the year. Nice's season is over. The Seahorses have at least one more week in them. They will travel to Edgewater 
to play the District 10 champion. Coach and Allen? that is Edgewater, Orlando, not Edgewater, yes, Florida, uh, Volusia County. I can testify <laughs> to that. Summer should stay in bounds, and he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't work out in our favor. Yeah, by the way, if it was Edgewater, Volusia County, they would <laughs> see Reese would be the odds-on favorite. What would their nickname be? Edgewater, they'd be the Bobcats. The Bobcats, I like now it. Now that's a fierce-sounding name. It is. And yes, Seabreeze is children. Call out. Seabreeze calls timeout. We're going to take it with him. 136 remaining in the game. Welcome back to the stadium, Larry Kelly Field. Good job hanging on to the football there. Yes, he sir. had a host of Panthers digging for it. <clears throat> I'm going to call timeout now on by the Panthers. <laughs> well, you know, Coach Oakham, you can't take them with you. <laughs> so you might as well use them. <laughs> They don't roll over. Mm. But I'm going to here in a minute because it's free. <laughs> it's <laughs> <a> market. <laughs> you can have that you one, brother. You can have that one. We yeah. have a school record <laughs> to announce <laughs> about complaining about the cold. <laughs> Set by Billy Bob Gahagan. <laughs> Billy Bob. Billy Bob Flickett. <laughs> that's that's and his brother, Jim Bob. <laughs> yep. Flick it. <laughs> oh, man, you guys don't understand. It is absolutely, it is absolutely. Intention, all that matters. You <laughs> deal with intent to say it. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for that time out in East High School. Love you. Brody Loin back in the game for the Sand Crabs. He's going to take the handoff. And take it to about the 30. This is a joke. This it's is an absolute <laughs> joke right now. I, I take it you don't agree with the strategy. I do not. Coaches. Absolutely do not. It's the never say die attitude of the Panthers. We still have some, some time left. We could help hope for the miracle here. Um, I think they got to be running low on them at this point. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've reached that time of the broadcast in uh, 116. All you Mainland Buccaneer fans, plan to come out and support your team next week. I know you guys do a great job of uh, following your team with uh, a nice attendance, but these playoff games, you don't know how many of you are going to get to see right here in Daytona, but come out on next Friday night at 730. See the Buccaneers. I'm excited about the playoffs getting cranked up. Me too. A couple updates here for you, coaches. Yes. After this play. Loin on the carry. Mm. That's enough for a first down. Let somebody call timeout. I don't think they will now. Until we have as updates um, Atlantic and, and Matanzas tied at 14. Oof. Deltona is down 27 to 7. To who? You, Matilla. Thank you. Kyle Oliver picks off a pass for a 30 yard touchdown for Mainland. Bucks like a 28 17 lead. Kyle Oliver's become quite the opportunity. Let's talk about him one second. He was not 
rewarded with Defensive Player of the Game last week, and I am absolutely shocked. Who, who was? Brunson took that that well, award. I, I, don't I believe Dr. Peter Wakeman could be contacted on that. Does he have something to do with the selection of those players? No, that was. I'm talking about for the mainland series uh, after the game. You know, the coaches select your oh, two I, for no, I didn't know that. I, yeah. I, well, that's a new. That's a new thing. And I kept saying, "Wow, did anybody not see Kyle Oliver play this game?" I would tend to agree with you. I thought he had a fabulous game. It's a foregone conclusion. The final score is going to be Seabreeze 40, Nice 28. Again, the Sand Crabs will improve to 4-6. and six. Nice will fall to 4-6. and six. Seabreeze continues their season. They travel to District 10 champion Edgewater, who was hosting Boone tonight. We will be back next week as Malin High School hosts South Lake High School here. Kickoff is at 7.30. Again, your final score, Seabreeze 40, Nice 28. For Steve Allen, for Rocky Oakham, I'm Billy Gahagan. We're saying goodnight. We'll see you next week.